Redditors who are married to Karens. How is it like? Not married to one, but my mom is absolutely one. I spend most of my time with her in public apologizing to people, after she's walked away. The one and only time it comes in handy is, when I've bought cars, and had her come in during the price negotiation phase. She's knocked off thousands purely due to how unpleasant she is, and how much people want her to just get the hell out of the door. Married to one. She doesn't get, why people think Karen's complain so much. It's annoying for her, and she'd like to talk to someone about this. Divorced an abusive Karen who was convicted of domestic violence. That's a misdemeanor folks. So she got half of everything. Totally worth it. My life before was a nightmare. Escape was priceless note. If you are in a similar situation. Especially now what with coronavirus quarantines. And need someone to talk to. PM me. Was married to a male Karen. Everything. And I mean everything. Could set him off. We were at a local tap room and his iPhone automatically connected to the Wi-Fi. Keep in mind. He had full bars on our cell service. The Wi-Fi was being wonky and wasn't working. The manager. Super nice guy. Comes over and asks how we are doing. While he washes some glasses in the dish pit on the other side of the bar. The following conversation ensues. Keep in mind. My husband is super irritated at this made up problem, because the cell service is working just fine, and he can literally just turn off the Wi-Fi. We husband. Your Wi-Fi is ducking trash. Manager. I'm sorry. We recently upgraded our internet. And Cox is sending us a new modem. It's supposed to be here this week. Husband. If you say you have Wi-Fi, you should make sure it actually works. Manager. I know. I'm sorry. I'd be happy to rest up the modem, to see if that helps. Husband then ignores him, and continues to talk under his breath about a made up issue. This was my life for almost 5 years. The sense of entitlement was frustrating enough in public, but more so at home. I had apologized to more servers, retail workers, neighbors, and random people in public for him in 5 years than the rest of my life outside of him. You know what? Now that I'm talking about it. Maybe he's not so much a male Karen. He's more like a piece of crap. My life has been a living hell. The number of times I have had to intervene to save the life of a customer service rep over Nichols is insane. As I've asked for divorce now just a couple weeks ago. Guess how that went over. Not married to one. But my aunt is. My uncle is this soft spoken giant. He never stands up to her in any way. Except once. At their daughter's wedding. She was about to interrupt the ceremony to close a window, because she was chilly. Everyone sitting close could hear her whisper in going to do it. But I don't want to be an idiot. My uncle, in a calm quiet tone says quickly why stop now. Almost as if his filter just missed this one. I swear I could hear my dad snort to Rose back trying to hold in laughter. Karen was not happy. My mom's a Karen. She is self aware she is a Karen my siblings and I send her memes about it. When my stepdad divorced her last summer we were all amazed he lasted 17 years to be honest. Yet none of us like going out with her it's terrible and my husband just straight up tells her no you aren't talking to the manager when we go in a place. I'll tell you guys a story my step told us. They are farmers and own a small beef and bee farm. They have a store they go to for bee supplies. The owner called my stepdad, and asked him to please, be the one to pick up their stuff, because his staff was tired of dealing with my mom. He is the only one who went to the store for the next 5 years. Deleted. Kaoka of mine is married to a Karen. He tells us stories multiple days a week how she drives to 4 different grocery stores and harasses the employees, because their stock is low on the specific item she wants. He my ex-wife is a Karen. In every sense but name. It was always so embarrassing. She was incapable of treating anyone like a human for the most trivial of occurrences. It was hell for me. As a person that's pretty forgiving, and don't seek out confrontation. So in a one word description it was hell. Lol P. S she's very codependent and jumps from relationship to relationship these days. Not surprised. My mom is a Karen. She thinks the world is supposed to cater to her. Serve her and everyone else is wrong. Once we went to Carl's Jr. She ordered four burgers. 
for the four of us. She pulls one out of the bag, while the guy's getting our drinks and hides it. She complains that he forgot a burger. She pulls them out one by one, and counts it in front of him. It's obviously missing, because she hid it, and he's swearing up and down he put them all in the bag. The I'm stunned speechless, and it happened so fast. She got a free burger, and laughed as we drive off. Him just staring at her, and she opens it up, to eat it on the drive home. And she ate her actual burger like the fifth one never existed. I can't even explain how she is, when she's in the hospital. She treats it like a luxury stay in a hotel. Help me. Please. Delete it. Blink 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 bliai ink bliai ink bliai ink blink blink blink. Not married to one. But mom was a major Karen back, when I was growing up. Mom can we just go? Was my favorite question. Then the apologetic nod as we leave the store. My sister is a Karen. Everyone feels so sorry for her husband. Everything is his fault. He is treated like a slave. She only addresses him by yelling. She constantly insults him. We have no idea why he hasn't divorced her or flipped out and attacked her. We have all told her to cool it and her response is that he's just so stupid. I could go on and on, but my sister really is a horrible person. My mom is a literal Karen. As in, it's her name. But she's like a bizarro Karen. She will constantly ask to speak with managers and supervisors and bosses. But when said managers arrive, she unloads about the employee helping her out was fantastic. Hardworking and friendly. And then she'll spend 20 minutes trying to figure out if she and the manager know someone in common. 9 times out of 10 they do. As a kid it would embarrass me. As an adult it's one of my favorite things about her. She makes people feel good about the work they do and it's really special to watch how wonderful she makes people feel. Plus she's got long gorgeous silver hair. Edit. Karen and I are crying with all the love and support. She's a wonderful lady. And to give my fair city a much needed boost this Karen is a lifelong Philadelphian. Thank you all for making mine and my mom's day. Stay safe out there. Not married but dated a male Karen for 8 years. He was a semi-successful business owner who was twice my age, and I was young and dumb for a lack of a better word. The gist of our relationship was him trying to take over every part of my life. For instance he would order for me at restaurants, and would dissuade me if I wanted to try something new. If I had a problem with something it would be brushed off, but if he had a problem then he had to talk to a manager. To not knowing any better I just thought he was very particular and even started copying some of his tendencies like speaking up when I felt I wasn't getting the right service when I was out on my own. I realized who he was when we were flying back from Vegas and our luggage was heavier than when we flew in, when obviously we bought extra things which made up for the weight difference so as he demanded to know an explanation from the check-in clerk as to why, if it was the same luggage would it somehow weigh more. I innocently answered, that it must have been the extra shoes and clothes. He was quiet and paid up. Later he told me, to not to do that again as he knew the reason, why the luggage was heavier he was just trying to get away with not paying. But at that moment a bulb went off in my head. This man who'd spent... 1500 on a strip before his friend was making an already stressful job more stressful for the clerk in order to avoid paying 60 we broke up soon after and i check myself on the karen tendencies he drubbed off on me my husband's ex is karen she's a classic narcissist when one of our feral hens started acting aggressive towards other hens my steps unnamed her karen edit wow the most upvotes i've ever had no awards though. Ha. Also. We live on Koi. So we differentiate between feral chickens and the one's cage. Raised for food and. Or eggs. We have five or so roosters. Eight or so hens. Three of which have four. Six. And eight chicks. We feed the adults oats and scraps and the chicks get chick starter until they can eat other stuff. We really love them. Except the roosters. They're righteous bastards. Not the married to one. But my mom's a Karen. Literally overreacts to everything. Whenever something doesn't go her way. You guessed. Gotta speak to the manager or whoever is in charge. 
sometimes really embarrassing to go out in public with her, because she'll just yell at the service workers for the smallest of things. Also she has a bob cut. Don't think there's any Karen's husbands on Reddit. They're probably all on Facebook. Not married to a Karen. But married someone with a Karen for a sister. Syl is the freaking worst. I hate more than anything going out to dinner with her. Listening to her order food. And talk to the servers. Holidays are also terrible. She sends out long lists of expected gifts list. She celebrates every holiday and birthday specifically for presents even when it not appropriate. Funny thing is one time I was away from the dinner table, when the bill came, and Syl waited for me to return to pay the bill by actually handing it to me. She didn't give it to her sibling. My so will pay her half. But expressly handed it to me to pay. BTW. Her husband is an idiot and they are a match made in heaven. Edit. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone. But yes I did pay. There are many reasons as to why. But the biggest one is, that it got me out of the restaurant faster. Also, it helps me control the tip. Another time we went to a family brunch where the bill was split. Karen still waited to see what other people tipped, so she could lower the overall tip percentage for the waitress to what Syl thought was deserving. We didn't know this until afterwards, when she bragged about it later so no one even knew to stop her. And she is invited to these family meals, because she has two children we want a relationship with. So she has that emotional blackmail card. H on East ain't tell why she's perfect. She am s me so happy. I know a couple with a Karen. She blamed him for everything. The husband was, in our opinion, something of a saint. Once she broke a glass in the kitchen, came and sat back down at the table, and said that was your fault. We all just stared at her. She looked sheepish, and said I knew, that one probably wouldn't work. They're divorced. Now, I guess even saintliness has its limits. Edit. And now for the you. Can't. Make. This. Upsinger. Her first name is really and truly. Karen. My mom is a Karen. Not fun. I think she was part of the reason the girl I loved left because whenever she was around my mom behaved much better and put on a nice face. And we argued frequently about my relationship with my mom. Hurts a lot. Don't think I can fully let this one go. Edit 1. I apologize for not replying to very many of you. The end of the semester is upon me and papers and such are taking up a large amount of my time. Edit 2. I love my mom very much, and she is generally a very nice person. I've spent a good while trying to put it to words accurately but it's difficult. Everything is very minor and very subtle, but it's constant all the time. It's not what she does it's how she does it sort of thing. She doesn't try to hide her behavior when in public. She just tries to put her best face forward when around others like everyone else does. I don't know if she is aware of what she does when at home, because it is so minor and subtle. And, but I have a difficult time believing that, since it is constant and other reasons. Edit 3. My most upvoted Reddit. Wow edit 4. To those concerned for me in some way. Thank you it means a lot. Only one of my friends knows the specifics of my relationship with my mom. So it's nice to receive support. To alleviate some of your worries. She doesn't control my life or actions. The pain she causes is dwarfed greatly by everything she has done for me. Without her I wouldn't have made it where I'm today. And I'm extremely thankful and lucky to gave her in my life despite the pain. I do not think I will cut her out of my life. Less frequent contact helps. But she is not so great a terror, that no contact ever is needed. I look forward to seeing her spoil my grandchildren, and know she will trust me to raise them not try to take over, and do it herself. Do Edit 5. The pain of losing the girl I loved in a way I didn't think I was able to love, is the greatest pain in my life. Thank you all for your kind words and sympathy. I taught my nephews, ages 9 and 11. About Karen's last year, when they stayed with us for a week after school let out. After describing trays, and observing them in the wild. They asked somewhere around day 2. Is our mama Karen? My reply. You words. Not mine. I'm divorcing a Karen nothing was ever good enough. Everything had to be the most expensive thing and even then it wasn't good enough. It was exhausting, and it sucked the passion I had for life out of me. Edit. 
slept on this, and thought of some more telltale signs. She never said nice things about me, to me or to other people. My best friend came over for a BBQ with his wife and kids and her, and her mother just mocked me the whole time to my friend's wife. My friend's wife confronted them about it. Even on our wedding day the part you say nice things sounded like a tentatively warm school report card. The nicest thing I remember her saying about me was I like how you make the salads. It's better than how I make it. The whole time that's the best I can think of. I knew from the beginning that there would be difficulties, but I loved her and made the leap to make her my forever partner. Uh, yes, her attitude towards certain people and things confused me at times. But by keeping an open mind and accepting her for who she was, everything has worked out well. We've been married for 10 years. We have a darling daughter. And I've even come to love my wife's kimchi fried rice. It is the absolute best I love my wife edit. I didn't write that. Divorce Karen. Haven't had a need to see a manager since. I'm not married to a Karen. I named the human that came out of me in 2007 Karen. She's 12 and hates her name. She wants to change it. I was married to a Karen. I'm sure the question on everyone's mind is was she like that at home? The answer is abso. Ducking. Lutely. She was the kind of Karen who it had to be absolutely perfect or I'm complaining. Restaurants. Stores. Anything. At home was worse. I couldn't do anything right. Any ambitions or dreams I had. I wasn't good enough to do. So why try? Uck. So glad I divorced her. Bonus. The lawyer she hired was an idiot and wrote the paperwork up wrong. So she won't get anything from my retirement. My brother was married to a Karen. She lived to berate people and rarely went anywhere without a flask of vodka to fuel her fire. She despised kids and wasn't quiet about it. In the first year of marriage she decided her husband had to earn sex. So if she didn't like the way he painted the shed, or groomed the dog, or poured his cornflakes, and she never did. There was no reward. Asterisk after 10 years he divorced her, moved to another state, and married a kind-hearted, generous, empathetic lady. Karen still can't understand why he dumped her perfect ass. Not married. Four years of a toxic relationship though. I broke up with her on Monday. Again. We are kinda ducked financially because of this lockdown, so we are just feeling things out for a month before we decide for sure. This cycle is on repeat. I constantly have to cut her off and speak over her because of the way she treats people. Waiters. Sales assistants. Gym staff. Neighbors. Landlords. Randoms we meet in bars etc. Note. We were both waiters at the beginning of our relationship, so she has worked in the industry, but still lacks empathy. She blames the waiter if something is out of stock etc. My second major issue. We are both English second language teachers. She teaches kindergarten while I teach high school. Now that we are working from home I hear how she speaks to her students and it's really opened up another aspect of her personality that I don't like. She will berate a student for not understanding instead of evaluating her ability to explain. Shitting on 3 year olds in their second language doesn't fly with me. A lot of her behavior stems from a self defense mechanism due to insecurity. But that's not an excuse. She doesn't realize how mean she is to people. Including myself. I'm a people pleaser that would rather sacrifice my own comfort than someone else's. She expects me to be an idiot to people because I'm a biggish guy with tattoos. I don't exactly look soft. It's toxic as hell. Please help. P.S. The sex is so good it rivals most porn. Easily. Edit. This comment is blowing up. I appreciate all the objective advice. It's noted. I do research a lot of self-help and am aware of the codependency and enabling traits in my situation. Asterisk asterisk for those making assumptions based on one comment. Don't be a Karen. I was dating one and she acts as if we are still together. My mom is a Karen. Legit her name too. Could be the original Karen it is all based on. Don't think she knows the meme of her own name. Essentially she is such a Karen she got her name changed to Karen. 
and there is a lot of food sent back at restaurants. Karen. I love my beautiful wife to the moon and back, and she is amazing and strong-willed. My mother is a Karen. If something minor inconveniences her, she blows it up into a huge dun. Constantly complains. Belittles me and has a slight superiority complex.